Okay. The, um, you know, it's, we have a bad habit as lawyers asking questions that uh, there's no definitive or a medical answer to, and I may ask that, so I'm sure you'll correct me. Well, I mean, if, what are you, uh, if, if you can, uh, if Brandon, uh, is Brandon going to have any future treatment for injuries related to this crash that you can say one way or another? I know he hadn't visited you since that last day, 2016, but he testified in his deposition. He, he still has some pain in his back. Uh, especially when he has does manual type work, and uh, we see from your records and at least from your notes that he was asymptomatic prior to this crash. And I'm sure um, the attorney for Mr. D's here is wanting to know the same thing: is yeah. can you say what uh, if there's going to be any future problems down the road uh, for Brandon that uh, you may think that you know based on your training experience. It is going to be related to the to this crash with his existing degenerative disc disease and his you know prior lower back injury, and that was probably a question that went two pages. <laughs> so here's the way I look at it when I'm asked this question: If Brandon did not have any car wreck at all, would he have pain in the future? And the answer is probably yes, mm -hmm. whether he had the car wreck or not. So it's impossible to know if any of it would be from the car wreck or what percentage of it would be from the car wreck. It's just impossible to know. Yeah. It's so variable. Yeah. Did um, Brandon respond to your treatment as you instructed him to? Did he do as you were instructed him to? I believe so, yes. Uh, did you find Brandon to be truthful? I have no reason to say otherwise. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he followed your orders like you asked him to do? I believe so, Okay. Yes. Oh, wasn't there an injury to his knee you treated him for, too? I thought you gave him some type of shot in his knee, left knee, maybe? You know, I saw that, but it may have been the doctor made a mistake and hit the button for knee <laughs> instead of shoulder. <laughs> okay, I thought I said this. Okay. I, I noticed that as well, and I was hoping you guys didn't notice it. But I, th I think it should have been shoulder injection instead okay. of knee injection. So you, what did you shoot him up with? A little cortisone in the shoulder, which uh, is for the tendonitis, and that usually, in many cases, does the trick. Okay. And uh, I've seen your your bills here um, do you let me show you it's been marked make sure I got it right here is that not it right there I think that's the hall therapy. Oh, okay. Let me see here. Wait, here it is. What number am I on, madam? For uh, plaintiff's exhibit number four. What is that, if you recognize it? This is the bill for office visits and x rays for those two visits. And those fairly inaccurately represent uh, what you billed, Brandon? Yes. And are those charges reasonable? and necessary uh, in light of uh, his injuries? Yes. I'm going to move to offer Plaintiff's Exhibit 4. Um, you sent Brandon to a physical therapist. Uh, do you remember who it was? Plaintiff's Exhibit 5. We, uh, Hall Physical Therapy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, those are um, bills of Hall's physical therapy. Do they, are they fairly inaccurately depict uh, and are they reasonable um, treatment and uh, bills for what they did for Brandon? Yeah, they look pretty standard okay. charges. I'm going to move to Plaintiff's Exhibit 5. During bra, it was Brandon's deposition, Mr. D's attorney asked him about an injury to his head 
and he didn't know the answer to it. I was going to ask you if you could, if you know what a small right posterior occipital subcutaneous hematoma is. <laughs> That's a bruise, is what that is. <laughs> That's a bruise. Okay. That's the way of saying a bruise. Yeah. Okay. A subcutaneous hematoma is a little collection of blood under the skin. Gotcha. And you would you said you noticed that when you saw him? Yeah, I think I even said he had a bruise on his face or his head or something. And it yeah. appears that the, the hospital records indicate he suffered some type of post-concussive syndrome. Would that be consistent with that type of injury? Uh, I wouldn't argue with that. Uh, it's not my area of expertise, but... Sounds about right. Yeah, patient had a large contusion on the head. Yeah. Okay. What number one six? This is the bill that was turned over for the hospital. He had a couple CTs and was discharged that night at Mobile Infirmary. Does that bill, uh, based on your training experience, seem fair and reasonable for the treatment he received at the hospital and that he told you about? Best, best that I know of, okay. yes. I'll move to admit the six. I'm going to show you Plants Exhibit 7, the ER physician bill. Based on your experience of in this area, is that a fair and accurate and reasonable bill for services for Brandon for, for the ER visit? Yes. for the ER physician group that saw Brandon. Right, yeah. I'll move to admit seven. All right, I'll pass the witness. All right, doctor. Um, I've got a couple for you. I've got, it looks like you saw uh, Mr. Slate twice, does that sound right? Yes. Sir. Um, and I believe you testified earlier that you diagnosed him with a sprain and a strain. Is that right? Of his... Of, of his... his, of his but yeah, yeah. Cervical and lumbar spine, yes. Um, and you'd sent him to, looks like, sent him to some physical therapy, and then he came back to you on May 11th, is that right? Correct. You also testified that you ordered a, an MRI, and we kind of went through a little bit of the MRI earlier. Um, and I just want to make sure I got everything right that I heard you say. Basically, I, what I heard was that the MRI showed stuff that was already present in his back and didn't show any acute type injuries. Is that fair? Yes. Um, and I know you put in your records that he had mentioned to you that he had some prior back pain in his lumbar spine. Is that right? Yes. Were you aware of the, I guess, type of injury or type of problems he had in his back other than he just told you he had pain in his back? He just told me he had a previous episode of back pain. Okay. Um, and I know plaintiff's counsel had mentioned that he had a CT scan. Uh, or the, the injury that he was talking about happened in 2013. And I know plaintiff's counsel had mentioned that he had a prior CT scan uh, briefly with you. Uh, I just wanted to go through it with you real quick and show you. I got a copy right You got a copy right there? Yeah. All right. Um, it looks like this is a CT scan he got in 2013. Um, what does it show on your reading of it? It's very similar to the MRI that he got after the car wreck. The, sa the same level, the, the L45 level, which is the worst level, shows a central left paracentral disc protrusion, which is what the MRI showed. It's very similar. Okay. So the the I guess what you're saying is the the record from 2013 from South Baldwin is very similar to your MRI that you took after the sacks. Yes. So the the things that show up in your MRI he's already got or is already complaining of in 2013. Yes. And I just so we're clear because I know they use different language on them. Um, I know you you said that a bulge and a protrusion are the same. Roughly yes. And I know there was some some questions about future treatment, about types of future treatment, you know, injections and surgery. Was there any indication to you and your treatment for this accident that Mr. Slay would require any of that? Well, uh, using the logic that he had pre-existing injuries that were aggravated from the wreck for a period of time, right, and then they returned back to baseline, 
He may require things in the future, but it's impossible to know if it's because of this car wreck. Okay, so it's impossible to know if it's the car wreck or the previous or injury natural, or anything. The natural deterioration of his disc and his back. Okay. Yeah. Um, after his final visit with you, are you aware of any other treatment that he's done? Oh uh, no, I'm not aware of any other treatment. And obviously, he hasn't been back to you since May 11th, 2016. Correct. And I think you testified earlier that uh, obviously these conditions or what you found were already in his back and he may have aggravated them in the car accident. Is that fair? Yes. 